Russell Westbrook will be on display. And Westbrook is so dynamic offensively. Guys, his ability to score in transition may be unmatched in this league. And I still think he has potential uh, to be even better defensively. So uh, incredible how good this guy could be. Yeah, he has the quickness and speed to dart in and break up the play, whether it's picking off a pass or just taking it out of your hands. Today's game marks the continuation of Houston's road schedule and the continued absence of Luis Scola. The story for them right now. Yeah, that is really tough, Kevin. You never like to hear the sound of that. They're going to miss him, and by all indications, they're going to miss him for a long time. That was the exact opposite of the news they wanted to hear. Yeah, he's got a lot of work ahead of him, and obviously we wish him well as he goes through his rehab. You feel so sorry for the guy. I mean, you know, nobody wants to see a player go through what he's facing now, uh, but we wish him well, and if anyone can handle it, he can. Houston shooting their first free throws of this game. He can't get the first one. So we can't get either to fall. Last game for Houston, they picked up the win against the Timberwolves at Target Center. And you know what was most impressive? They wasted very few possessions in that game. They ran their offense close to perfection. That's what we call a mute button game in front of a hostile crowd. They never let the fans get into it. Had them on their hands the whole time. Houston on D and going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. Well, that was a great showing when these two clubs met in the playoffs last year. That was a, a big series victory for this team. And the playoff series win, of course, came after a regular season where they actually, you know, Clark lost the series. Well, Kevin, you know, that happens during the regular season. I mean, you have some poor showings against a team during the regular season, and you can still come back at them full speed ahead when the stakes are highest in the playoffs. That's good from Westbrook. Both free throws good from Westbrook. defense Oklahoma City last game matchup with the Suns a, a tough loss there you know they didn't exactly roll over they had a good chance to win in that game it just didn't come together for them at the right time hey the all-around effort was very solid but they're not interested in moral victories a loss is a loss here's Westbrook following the basket by Dwight Howard got that one up quick boy he made a nice little bounce pass there we call that the pocket pass and he did it well D passes to Harden. Here's D. And the layup is good. And for him, some drama coming into this game. Uh, apparently the target of some criticism via social media. I wonder if that will be in his head. Well, you know, constructive criticism is always tough to take. It's never fun. But to have the words come out of the mouth of one of the all-time greats, well, I would think it probably carries a little more weight and may be in his head some. Here's Westbrook. After the made shot from D. That is good. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. Rally holds the reins to this team, and we're seeing some examples of that, Steve, right now. Yeah, yeah they look cohesive. And, you know, anytime he takes control, you can just feel this group come together. Yeah, it's priceless when you have a guy who sets the example. Ibaka with the ball. Now guarded by Parsons. J. 
Durant attacking. Feeds it to Ellington. Here it's Sita. Hands it from downtown. Six points for him. Another good pass, and their offensive execution has been impressive, to say the least. The last four field goals have been assisted. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance, but to get assists, you've got to make the shots. And the offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old-school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. And the second free throw, good. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And as with any timeout at this point of the game, important to go over the strategies that are working and those that are needed in terms of adjustments. And, of course, the opportunity, guys, to get hydrated with Gatorade before coming back out of the floor. We've seen some good action so far, and there's, there's more of it to come. Yeah, this game has been physical, it's been fast, it's been high-paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard-fought game, critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, guys, Kevin McHale had some advice for the team in that last break. He was hammering home the defensive game plan against Durant. Coach wants a team-wide defensive effort on him tonight. We expect them to have multiple defenders on him throughout this game. That's the kind of respect they have for his ability. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. And here we go. Fast break. Ellington's got the ball. Here it's Sita. The shot will not go. Excellent defense there from D. Harden the pass to D. To the middle. Here's Parsons. And the shot is good. He has great dexterity inside. He can contort his body, shift in midair, hang time. He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive player in the paint. And, Steve, that's not a skill that most players have. I mean, that's exactly why they try to feed it to him in the paint whenever possible. Savage. That's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Yeah, especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. The Thunder with the lead. 146 left to play in the first quarter. And that one's good. Everybody on the floor is hot. Incredible stuff here in the early stages. I'll tell you what, both teams playing downhill. Who's going to blink first? They get the rebound. Nice D from Perkins. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And he gets it to go. Randolph's got seven. And he was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. One ten left in the first quarter. Ibaka sets the pick for Durant. Launches a three, and again, Oklahoma City with the triple. That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together, one setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Cloak loose. Here is Ellington. Pass to Durant. Pass to Perkins. The feed to Ellington. Lock at six. Here it's Sita. And the Thunder, another three. There's six points on consecutive three ball. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. This quarter has brought out the best in them, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. And it's good. Very positive opening quarter for them. The shots have been falling. You know, the shooting percentage would be nice if it stayed right there, but that's going to be tough to do. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Now here's Durant. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Phoenix. And that one's good. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. Inside Durant. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Randolph's got his third basket of the night right there. Excellent communication on the inbound play there, guys. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Oklahoma City out in front, up seven. 
After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Monday, November 9th, by Houston. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Oklahoma City. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Well, the other thing I like is defensively, they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. We've got Russell Westbrook. Roberson is out there with Perry Jones. Then it's D'Alembert, and it's right in at the two spot. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second. And now a look at Russell Westbrook, some stats on him. What a year he had last season. He was around 26 points per game last year. Six assists and five rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. Yeah, how valuable a player he is for them, Steve. Scores are always valuable. He gives them such a reliable option every time they have the ball. Rockets trail by seven. Williams with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Pass to D. Kicks it to Williams. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And now here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. The Rockets number one. Second, the Thunder. Now, it's no secret that both these clubs rely heavily on the three-pointer. That was the case last year. What numbers? Wow. And here's Westbrook from the arc. That's good. Westbrook's got 12 in the game. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Here's D. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, let's take a look at how Oklahoma City ranked in the league last year. First in free throw percentage. Second in three-point field goal percentage. And they were ranked third in block. A good, solid defensive team in the paint. And uh, to me, the, 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 the number that you look at is the free throw percentage, first in the league. And that's why they were so aggressive in attacking the rim. They, they spent a lot of time every game trying to attack the paint area, get themselves those easy points at the free throw line. And they were so good at it. You know, why not? It's Westbrook with the drive. And the call will be against D. That's his third foul of the game. We're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. And that one's good. Right. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys. And the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. Rockets trail by 15. D. He's covered by Westbrook. D. Knocks down the step back, J. D's got five points now this quarter. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, gentlemen. D, in their last game against the Timberwolves, provided a nice lift. He had 12 points and seemed to be seeing the action in slow motion, piling up a huge amount of assists. It's safe to say he is out of his funk after a game like this. He'll try to... He'll try to keep up this pace now, guys. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. I agree with you there. I mean, he obviously hit on something that brought out the best in him, and you can be sure he's going to take the exact same approach in this one. Definitely. And as confident a player as he already was, now he's got to be feeling absolutely unstoppable. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Howard. And Monty Yunus subbed in for Jones. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Caspi. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but you know, the defense still needs to keep an eye on him. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by D. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. 
And right, here we go. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his first free throw of the game. No good on that one. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Yeah, he definitely saw some things that were not working for them out there. And now he's going to make some adjustments. I'm not sure what it was, but he clearly wanted something to change out there. And he sinks the second. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And you know, this lead is going to grow if they can continue to get to the free throw line. Right wing, Caspi for three. That is good. Caspi's got six. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. And the call will be against D. That will get him his fourth foul. So it's the Rockets now. Eight point game. Kendrick Perkins grabs the miss. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. That's a precision shot. You've got to be precise. No room for error on the float. Howard's check in for the Rockets. This is exactly what he needs to be doing. Get himself to the line. Cause some foul problems for the other team and hopefully get some and one opportunities as well. Ellington kicks to Durant. Inside to Perkins. Good D by Howard. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. We've got 123 left to play here in the half. It's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from D. There's the dish to Durant. Got it from 16 feet. Durant's got 12 in the game. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He could be in for one of those games. No good from D. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. And it's Randolph with the rebound. Rockets trail by eight. You know, with the time left, they can trade two for one here. If they hurry. And it's Howard finishing it off. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. Here it's Sita. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Howard's got three rebounds so far in the game. D passes to Parsons. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. And those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. Perkins with the screen. Here it's Sita. Rockets with the rebound. Howard's got four rebounds now tonight. A three. That's it, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from D. And the first half ends in a close one. Yes, Kevin, I'm here with Russell Westbrook and Russell. Now, presented by Sprint. Let's get right to it, fans. We got plenty of first half rivalry action to review. The Thunder are in a tight contest against the Houston Rockets. They've started off pretty well this season, trying to continue the momentum. We've watched Kevin Durant doing pretty much whatever he wants against the defense of the Rockets. He has 12 points. He's been dynamic on both ends of the court, finding teammates, playing tough D on the other end. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And a wonderful view there of Oklahoma City. Welcome back to our coverage. We're seeing a tremendous game from D. 
seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And see, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Houston. On either wing, Harden and Parsons. Howard is out there with Randall. And it's D in at the point. And the pass to Harden. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Dallenbear. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on Anthony Randall. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Oklahoma City. Covered by Westbrook. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. For Houston, they have had an off night from the strike tonight. Well, this is an area of concern for this club. They only shot 71% from the line last year. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. this third quarter just over a minute play he dishes it to Ellington back to Westbrook six to shoot rejected by Howard there's the lob to the hoop nice catch and finish on the alley-oop looky here looky here how about that one that play take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook for future reference perfectly done Put it on a platter for him. He Gosh, sure did. And how about the touch on the finish, too? That was really nicely done. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. D passes to Harden. He feeds it to Parsons. Here's D. And that one's good. D's got 25 points. Well, he definitely heard the criticism, and he used it to motivate himself. And he's been phenomenal so far in this one. Yeah, he has been. Crow is the entree of choice, it seems, as he has made a big-time NBA name, which he never opened his mouth about his game. Here's Dallenbear. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got assist number five here tonight. Excellent vision by Durant out there. What a nice pass. Passes to Howard. Harden with it. Now guarded by Ellington. Back to Harden. But they get it back. Off target with his three. Oklahoma City leading by five. Westbrook dishes to Ellington. From 15 feet away, misses off the left iron. Really high quality shot there, just a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. Durant against Parsons, count the bucket. Got a lot of momentum going with his own game. He's been great today, just as hot as he was last time out. So for the Rockets, Adams, he's checked in for Dallenberg. Perry Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka, and it's right in for Wayne Ellington. Here's D. Here's Jones. Lays it up and banks it in. Jones has got his first two points of the night. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. And right kicks to West. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. I thought he'd make that one. That's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. And stolen by Wright. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Offensive rebound. That's good. Jones has got five. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. They've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Right with the double team. Harden the pass to Asha. Soft touch off the glass. 
That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Rejected by Randolph. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Houston making a switch here. Monte Yunus has checked in. And right, here we go. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Here is the 2K leaderboard with last season's top passing team. The Rockets fourth. Well, I thought this team last season was a team that had some beautiful dimes. I mean, they would spread the floor with their ball movement and spacing and player movement. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Nice passes leading the basket. Boy, still waiting for their first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. Here's D, and Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. Stolen by Harden. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Jones, the pass to D. Back to Jones. Offline with his three. The dive for the ball. Stolen away. And he gets it to go. Aniunas has got his third basket of the night. The Thunder leading by six. Outside Westbrook. Right side Durant. 14 feet away. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Outside, Jones. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. Harden outside. And it's blocked. But they'll get another chance. Here's Hushik. Nice D from Roberson. Thunder have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Rejected by Ashik Jones. They shoot again. Durant, no good. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. They get it back. And the basket by Jones. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, Kevin McHale had some advice for the team in that last break. He said they need to start attacking in the open court. He doesn't want to see them operating in a strictly half-court offense. He wants their tempo to become more of a weapon. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. And as always, Doris, thank you. D passes to Harden. They set the screen. Here's D. Banked in off the glass. D's got seven points here in this quarter. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Jones with the screen on Durant. D passes to Harden. Here's D. Here's Jones. Kept alive by Houston. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Talk about some great numbers for Randolph. Eight rebounds, and he's rejected a shot over the course of the game, too. That seems like it could have been more because he's been in position to make plays defensively most of the game. Samuel Dallenberg is checked in for Oklahoma City. The Thunder with the lead. Westbrook kicks to Ellington. 23 seconds left in the third. Plenty of daylight on that shot. 16 points for him. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Bart. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. 
And here now the Thunder. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Westbrook up top. He kicks it to Ellington. No good from outside. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offensive. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This was such a pretty pass, Kevin. A beautiful assist, and of course it turned into the easy basket, but uh, just a gorgeous play there. Rockets trail by four. Russell Westbrook out there with Wayne Ellington. Then it's D'Alembert. Then it's Ibaka. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. He gets Harden with the drive. Dishes it to Howard. Tell you what, he takes a lot of punishment inside. When Howard gets the ball in deep, defenses are looking to foul him hard because of his difficulties at the free throw line. And he's a devastating finisher when you let him power it up to throw it down. Um, he's a former dunk contest champ, Steve, so you give him a chance to do that, he'll make you um, part of his highlight reel. Now here's Westbrook, guarded closer. D'Alembert, shot clock at six. Feeds to Ellington. Made away, and he gets the bucket. And the Thunder lead by four. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. D passes to Harden. Outside, Randolph. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Harden on the win. Passes it to D. Carries it from three-point range. D's got ten points here in the second half. Yeah, and that's his first three of the half. There may be more in store. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Westbrook. He's tightly guarded. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, Westbrook has been great. 15 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of his game today. He's made his open look. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Durant's checked in. And both free throws good for Westbrook. Rockets trailed by three. Takes the 13-footer. Shot's good from D. D got 34 points. That's a big basket there, and you can expect him to be very involved and aggressive the rest of the way. Now here's Westbrook. Guarded close, and that one's good. Westbrook's got 19 points. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops, and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are a really high-percentage look. It's Durant. Oh! oh Emma time! Emma time! Sublime stuff, guys. <laughs> Absolutely sublime. Clark, he's going to start putting on a show now. Well, that's usually how it goes, fellas. I mean, once they're in front, that's when they really let him loose. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes them change plan. Right side, Durant. And the rebound goes to Howard. Rockets trail by three. It's stolen by D'Alembert. Durant dishes to D'Alembert. And it's sent back by Howard. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, takes the alley-oop pass, and dunks it down. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Now here's Westbrook. Not a lot of room. Good. 
Shot clock at five. Great communication on the alley -oop. And the Thunder lead by three. Soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley -oop. You know, I got to say, Clark, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going to go. <laughs> we saw it ended up right where it was supposed to, in the basket. It sure did. I don't think anybody knew where it was going to go. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does it. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we've got one here tonight. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. D passes to Harden. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Nicely done. They just continue to dominate inside. That's 10 points in a row in the lane. It's now purely here it comes. See if you can stop it. Here's D. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And he's been exactly what they needed here in the fourth. Boy, he looks like a dangerous man. I mean, he's made all four of his shots this quarter so far. Terrence Jones has checked in for Houston. The Thunder have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. No good. Nice D from D. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin off. Got to love this team's grit. After trailing early, they have fought all their way back here. You know, they could have gotten down on themselves when they were down earlier, but I like the fact they never gave up, guys. Thunder shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Time called here, the Thunder decide to talk it over. Yeah, clearly they were starting to show signs of fatigue, so Coach wanted to give them a second to get their win back. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, during that break, Coach Scott Brooks had some words for his team. He told them, the game is right there for the taking, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to loose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. And the basket by Jones. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Houston. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive, attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocked shots tonight. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, there's always room for more offense, Steve. You know that. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Deflects the pass. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Durant off a pick from D'Alembert. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Durant doing all sorts of things. He's got 21 points and three denials. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the all-around effort that he's put in here today. The numbers tell the story, Steve. He is filling up just about every column of that box sheet. He hits both from the strike. What a clutch performance. He loves being in these situations. Just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. Here's D. And Chen shot, and there's the layup. Out the bucket from Terrence Jones. Jones has got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Scott Brooks was discussing with his players. He was intent on running the offense through Durant. The coach is hoping to see him make more of a contribution and told the rest of the players that they have to remember who the centerpiece of this offense is. His other point of emphasis was their interior defense, which he insisted they concentrate on. Keep the ball out the paint, he said. Don't give them anything from close range. So coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. And thank you, Doris. Rejected by Jones. I 
right side Jones and out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. One eleven left in the fourth quarter. Thunder have gotten exactly two thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of twelve. Outside Westbrook. Baseline try, and it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. Six on the shot clock. Ellington kicks to Westbrook. It's good. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. The game has come down to this. Ginormous possession here. What intensity. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. 43 seconds left in the game. Knocked away. They push it up. Here's Howard. Nails it. And he has brought them to within two points. Boy, it's a scary sight when Howard starts lighting it up like this. Thunder shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Here's Westbrook. Money! And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. Well, if not 100%. Certainly 95%. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And a big play there to mute the crowd. Yeah, that one kind of took all of the life out of them there, Kevin. Kind of quieted the voices in here, didn't it? And here is Ibaka. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Got sloppy in a close game. You have to take advantage of every opportunity. D, he's covered by Westbrook. And it's the Rockets with the ball. A good look from Harden. It's in! Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Westbrook connects. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. I'll tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose. A Russell, congratulations on this. Apparently being called out by an NBA legend on social media is a pretty big motivator for you as you really stepped up your game tonight. Care to make any comments about that situation? Yeah, I heard about that comment, but my priorities ain't changing based on what anyone says, NBA legend or not. I've been working on that aspect of my game already, and tonight you saw some of that effort pay off, period. Nothing more than that.